Hey guys, I'm in Oaxaca now. So I did the relocating from California out to Mexico. I am on my way to Mexico City eventually and I started in Merida a few weeks ago and it was really hot. So hot that it was like really unbearable. I mean, I love the heat. I much prefer hot over cold weather but it was probably like 97 to 99 degrees in the daytime and that was like way too hot for me. Um, coming from San Francisco, it was like just unbearable. So I didn't really last there very long. Um, I am traveling with a friend, so my friend and I were like, well, you know, might as well just go to the next city. So we left, now we're in Oaxaca, and this is a little bit higher elevation, and it is really lovely here. It's probably around like 75 and 80 degrees in the daytime, and it only goes down to maybe like 60 to 65 degrees at night. So not like really a huge temperature difference, and it's pretty warm, so even if it rains here and there, it's not bad at all. So what have I been doing? I've been trying new food, I've been walking and seeing new places and exploring and definitely by immersion have been exposed to more Spanish than I can ever imagine. I do not speak a word of Spanish so this is really a challenge for me to learn a bit more. I studied French for about six years when I was in grade school so this does have some similarities because Spanish and French are somewhat similar. Um, but of course, you know, not, not completely the same. So yeah, th there's definitely some learning to happen. <laughs> so I do look forward to getting a tutor at some point. I just, because of the nature of like being like a week or two here and there, haven't really looked deeply into it. Maybe when I get to Mexico City, I will be able to hone in on having a tutor and like really learn some Spanish because I really do love learning languages and I think it'll be fun. I mean, even if I don't speak Spanish, I have to admit like Mexico thus far has been super easy to get by because numbers, pointing, <laughs> using your finger to indicate how many, like there are certain ways to use body language to communicate and I do use Google Translate here and there and for the most part people are pretty patient and they will like you know, wait for me to like show them my phone and you know what I'm trying to say and they're helpful. Like the other day I did have to go to the pharmacy and get some medicine for my headache and my stomach problem um, and the pharmacist, uh, even though I spoke not a single word of Spanish and could not understand anything she was saying, um, was able, she was able to help me and, and was patient with me even though I literally had no just like, what do you have for a stomach problem, please? Um, so yeah, much better today, even though I am a quite bloated still, like definitely carrying a lot more water than normal. Um, but yeah, I mean like, gotta love your body for that, right? It's like, it's doing its thing, so it's just gonna let it do its thing. Um, so what else has been really great? I mean, the food is so amazing. I mean, like one of the things that like I really did not appreciate until I came to Mexico is like how much of a difference in taste these tiny little ingredients have uh, in the food. And one of the mind-blowing things has been the use of limes. Uh, just like having sopa de lima, which is uh, lime soup in Merida, was just like <gasps> mind-blowing. I mean, it's lime soup. Okay, it's got some meaty flavor because they put meat in it, but like the lime makes it amazing. Um, and of course, like you want spicy, like they can handle spicy. It's like they got you taken care of. So um, the food's been really amazing. Um, of course, every um, region has its own specialties, right? As you might guess. So. In Merida, uh, there was definitely more seafood options and there were some like Yucatan specialties there that we had. And uh, here in Oaxaca, they have different types of dishes as well. And so we've been sort of trying this and that and it's been really great. Let's see, as far as my balance of life and work and everything else, um, I mean, yeah, I'm ill at the moment and like can't really move a whole lot. And um, I'm just grateful that like, Today I'm better than yesterday and um, I was able to exercise a little bit today just like the intention was just to like move to create some natural thirst, I could drink some more water, like get like the massage of the internal organs and stuff like that. So just to help with metabolism and stuff. So it's been thus far fine. And I do really, really, really love this slow traveling bit of my life because it, well, first of all, traveling to places like these 
it doesn't cost that much right? compared to the American cost of living. And so there's less stress on me on making a you know very high income to pay off just my general living expenses, food, rent, etc. So I can be a bit more free. I do not work 40 hours a week. And so it's actually very manageable. I am working a bit more on this trip than my previous trip to Asia. It's my desire to do that a bit more because I would like to save a bit more money as I'm traveling as well. What has been really frustrating? Hmm. I think you just kind of have to roll the punches. This is something I learned to do last go around when I was backpacking. So, like, you know, sometimes you have down days, sometimes bad things happen, like this. And so, you gotta do what you gotta do in that moment and be grateful for what you have. I, I feel like being in new places like this let's just like expands your awareness and it really promotes understanding and tolerance and respecting everyone no matter where they come from. I just I love those kinds of things. So I'm a big proponent of travel. I wholeheartedly support anyone who decides they wanna like leave their job and just go travel for a while. You don't owe an explanation to anyone. Understanding yourself and how you are in all these different new situations it really does help you understand what what you're here to do and what really like fulfills you and I think it's just enriching anyway that's pretty much it for now so hopefully next time I see you guys I'll be in a healthier condition and I'll have more to share all right till next time bye